Stormy Crow. The lighting is currently very bright because I'm by the window. But I'm here with my familiar Tiggy. Oops. Tiggy. Come here. See? Tiggy. <laughs> and um, we will be doing episode two of the Witch's Tools playlist. Um, and in this episode, we will be talking about um, the mortar and pestle. So let's get into this video, guys. The mortar and pestle um, is, back in the day, it, it was usually like, I don't know if many people have heard of it, but back in the day it would usually be just like two rocks that were used to crush up um, herbs or eggshells or stuff like that. Um, but essentially a mortar and pestle is, I think it's the mortar, I think it's called. Yeah, I think, no, I think the mortar is the bowl. The mortar is usually the bowl or the um, holding container, and then the pestle, I believe, is usually the um, little, essentially, smaller rock that's used to crush up the said objects. Um, now, you can crush a lot of things in a mortar and pestle. Um, one of the things that I use my mortar and pestle a lot for is crush up eggshells because as many know I do a lot of protection magic and um, eggshells represent protection and growth and stuff like that. <laughs> she looks so mad. But um, yeah. I know you can also crush up stuff like uh, um, different kinds of like incenses, I guess, like, um, frankincense and stuff like that. You can crush up all kinds of stuff. Um, I've seen some witches burn stuff in their mortar and pestle, like, um, during spells you can put, like, say, say you're doing, like, a, um, a release spell you want to let go of someone, like, um, an old friend or something like that, and you want to, uh, write someone's name on a piece of paper and uh, burn it. Usually, a lot of times, if someone doesn't have a cauldron, they'll do it in like their small mortar and pestle, and uh, they'll burn it in there. But a lot of times, it's more so used for the for the cauldron. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Um, since this video is very small, I want to go into talking about the. Um, uh, cauldron as well. Sorry. It's gonna be a very odd video because I'm just not down to edit too much today. But, um, yeah. So, more so talking about the cauldron now. The cauldron it comes in all different sizes. You get ones from, like, this big to this big nowadays. And, um, yeah. A cauldron, like I said, is used to burn, like, loose incense in. Um, so you get, like, incense blends and you put them on charcoal discs where are you going? You put them on like charcoal discs and you can uh, burn them in your cauldron and uh, and um, like I said with the example from before if you want to burn a piece of paper you can um, burn it in your cauldron a lot of people mix like uh, whoop, she's up on the desk a lot of people can mix like um, stews in bigger ones. I know a lot of people cook with cauldrons too that are you get big ones that are like this big that used to hang over fireplaces and everything. A lot of people cook with those still. Um, it's very old-fashioned but they cook like uh, different stews like a beef stew and you know just stuff like that and uh, soups various things but a lot of times nowadays it's just really used for like incense and um, like mixtures for like a uh, sand protection mixtures and stuff like that so uh yeah I'm sorry for such a short short excuse me I can't talk today I'm sorry for such a short video I just wanted to quickly throw something up on the channel and uh this is obviously adding on to the um witchcraft tools playlist so if you guys want, go ahead and look under playlists in my channel, and you will find the one for this video. So, have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. I'll be probably posting another uh, day this week, other than Friday, just to make up for the last Friday I missed. But, yeah.
Bye guys. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs>